Chronic pain is a widespread problem that presents a major public health challenge across Europe. An estimated one in five adults in Europe currently suffers from chronic pain. It's a condition that can have a devastating impact on a patient's quality of life. Many are at risk of suffering from depression, anxiety, stress and sleep disturbance, whilst relationships with loved ones can be adversely affected. The financial impact is also significant, with a cost to the European economy estimated at at least 300 billion euros. In the context of this considerable public health impact, primary care physicians have an important role to play in improving the treatment and management of chronic pain to deliver better patient outcomes. Today, an estimated 90% of patients with chronic pain are managed in primary care. Patients with chronic pain consult their doctors approximately five times more frequently than patients without such pain. With this extensive and regular exposure to the needs of chronic pain patients, it could be assumed that primary care physicians would be confident and proficient in its management, but in practice, this is not always the case. At least 40% of patients with chronic pain treated in a routine practice setting do not achieve adequate pain relief, which suggests that chronic pain management presents a vast challenge to many primary care physicians. So, why is this the case? Previous studies of primary care physicians in North America reported considerable frustration with the management of chronic pain. They identified a number of challenges, but is there a similar situation in Europe? This new study aimed to specifically understand the challenges of pain management in primary care across Europe, forming an evidence base for future initiatives. A detailed questionnaire was developed for primary care physicians to complete online across 13 countries, focusing particularly on pain assessment, opioid therapy and educational needs. Just over 1,300 physicians completed the questionnaire, approximately 100 per country. Key findings from the study indicated that the vast majority, 84%, of primary care physicians perceive chronic non-malignant pain to be one of the most challenging conditions to treat. Less than half, 48%, use pain assessment tools and 81% of those interviewed considered chronic pain and its impact on quality of life to be under-assessed in primary care. Primary care physicians were less confident about prescribing strong opioids for chronic pain than for use in cancer pain. And most, 84%, considered their initial training on chronic pain not comprehensive enough, with 89% recognising a need for more education on this topic. 72% of the physicians questioned felt universal guidelines for the management of chronic pain were needed, and 79% felt that the management of chronic pain should be higher up the government's agenda. Overall, the important study finding is that the treatment and management of chronic pain is a significant challenge for primary care physicians. Areas identified that need to be addressed with additional training include the underuse of pain assessment tools and the lack of confidence in the use of opioid therapy. In addition, guidelines on chronic non-malignant pain management in primary care would be welcomed by most physicians. Open Minds Primary Care anticipate the insights from this study will provide the basis for future initiatives to support improved primary care management of chronic pain and ultimately better patient outcomes.